Well, we began our Bay Area Proud series more than a year ago with the goal of sharing positive stories in our community. There are plenty of local news stories about violence against young people, but tonight we feature a man's commitment to give, to give youth in the East Bay a better future. NBC's Garvin Thomas is here with his success story. Garvin. Raj, uh, Dr. Tomas Magana is an Oakland pediatrician. He says he began practicing medicine like most doctors, focusing on saving lives by curing disease. He soon realized, though, that disease wasn't the biggest threat to his patients. Trauma, including violence, was. What he did with that realization is tonight's Bay Area Proud. Come on in, guys. We're going to debrief. Of all the truly important skills Dr. Tomas Magana is teaching these young people... Every single day we're learning something new because medicine consistently changes. The greatest just might be the ability to see the future. To see that no matter what obstacles they face in life, it is possible to surmount them, just like he did. I teach students how to believe in themselves. Tomas Magana grew up poor in a single-parent family in East Los Angeles. The concept of ever going to college, let alone medical school, was not part of his reality. Absolutely not. What role model did I have to even consider that as a possibility? Tomas says it was the intervention of key adults at key moments that changed the course of his life. You can tell the difference between one or the other, something that's benign and something that's really a serious seizure. His goal? is to now be that adult for others. Monica, you put the mask on. So in 2000, Tomas started the Faces for the Future Coalition, an organization now spreading statewide, exposing young people to the possibility of a career in medicine. There's the apical, the pulmonary, the tricuspid. On this day, Faces summer program students are in Samuel Merritt University's simulation lab. All right, arms locked, the movement comes from your waist. They experience a range of medical oh, examinations God, and interventions. And you want to put it right in. From life saving. You are completely dilated. To life giving. Each one made all the more realistic with state of the art dummies that breathe, beat, and in some cases even talk. Okay. The summer course is open to teens of all backgrounds, but FACE's school year program is just for at-risk students, the ones Tomas really wants to reach. And then it would go... Carla, from a background much like Tomas's, now has her sights set on becoming a nurse. I didn't know what I could do or how to even get there. The most powerful experiences are those moments that you see transformation happening in young people and beginning to believe in themselves that aha moment when they start saying, oh, I can do this. So far, some 500 students have gone through the FACES program, each and every one graduating high school. A member of the very first class, even now having finished medical school and starting her residency at Oakland's Children's Hospital. Every single one of you can do this, and I hope that this experience inspired many of you to really consider doing this. Something that makes Tomas as proud as he made others. To see young people kind of achieve successful outcomes. Does it look like you got it? You can't help but feel tremendous pride about that. High five. High five. High five. <laughs> a couple of notes. Uh, Dr. Magana wanted to note the Public Health Institute for helping out and also the facilitators at Samuel Merritt University for leading these programs with the kids. And while he's very proud of the student who now is a doctor, this is not about getting doctors. It's about all types, all uh, roles in the medical field. Mm -hmm. And there are many now graduates of this program who are in all types of medical fields right now, in great part because of the program. Yeah, hands-on experience really changing lives. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Garvin. Thanks, Garvin.